We're back at it with another season of the Road to the Show podcast. I'm your host, Ben Gelman. Today, we're focusing on the Major League Baseball amateur draft, specifically on one of my diamonds in the rough. This is a player, not a household name yet. There's a long way to go. Maybe not at the top of the draft class, but I, I think there's a real future at the Major League level for this player. I have Hall of Fame outfielder Ken Griffey Jr. with me today. Ken, what advice would you give this player who might not be considered a sure thing to make it? What would you tell them as they begin their professional journey? Yeah, I mean, you have an opportunity. Anytime you have an opportunity to to impress somebody, uh, uh, to go out there and, and do something, then you can do it. And, and they don't care, you know, who you are, what round, what this, what that. They just want you to go out there and play. And if you can perform day in and day out, you will be in the big leagues. With the MLB draft already now underway, you will be asked if there is any favorite team you want to be on. With a former coach. I don't care much as we will start in the double A's anyways. Carlos, you lived that in your baseball career. What's this world like? Oh, it's extremely exciting. You know that if you perform, you will get the call. We've got a developing story here. JP, what are you hearing? I'm checking the numbers. I'm talking to my sources, my scouts, and they're all telling me, hey, this could actually work. Most of us mere mortals, when we were that age, we were barely chewing gum and walking at the same time, let alone playing the hardest game there is. Let's see if he's tough enough mentally here to adapt. That's what good players do. That dream of getting the big leagues is now becoming reality with that one phone call. Right after this, we wait for the call, hopefully. I was drafted by the Oakland Athletics. Now let's wait and see what Christopher Russo has to say about that. What? Are you kidding me? This is who we are drafting? You must be crazy. He is a career minor leaguer. He's not a major league player. We wasted a draft pick, a high one at that, here. This is why we don't win. This is a terrible, terrible pick. Oh, my goodness gracious. Come on, fellas. Do your work. Do some research. Awful, awful selection. I hate this pick. Now we join the team and we can look around or start playing. First some more from Ben Gelman and We're Kellen Lee. One of my favorite picks in this year's MLB amateur draft and I'm joined by mental performance coach Kellen Lee. Kellen, what have you heard about this particular prospect? You know, I, when you sent over the list of, of people we're going to talk about, I had to do some extra research on this one. This is a guy that I, you know, flew under the radar and I really wasn't as familiar with. Um, but after doing a little bit more research, uh, talked to some coaches, talked to the people that know him personally, it sounds like he's got some really strong intangibles. Sounds like he was a great teammate as an amateur player. And I would imagine that the organization perhaps did their homework a little bit and found out a little bit about him uh, that other teams didn't because it sounds like he brings a lot to the table on the on the mental side of the game. And as Yogi Berra famously said, baseball is 90% mental, the other half is physical. Now, math on that aside, Kellen, how much has baseball emphasized mental toughness, mental development in recent years? Yeah, there's been a huge shift in a lot of the organizations and players are turning to the mental side of the game to be just a regular part of player development, all the way from the minor leagues, all the way up to the major leagues. Uh, some of those mental performance skills include building confidence, establishing routines, uh, setting really effective goals, maintaining motivation, visualization. The sky's the limit. But really what we know is that a really solid mental game allows these players to tap into their physical game more consistently. 